women's bantamweight division matchup. as it gets DC and I know you didn't have the benefit of starting as a striker back in the day first day she stepped in a gym she was mixing all the different disciplines and the results certainly speak to that commitment and dedication it shows it shows in her ability to fight high level competition right away she does not need fights to build her up she's prepared to fight the wrestler she's prepared to fight the grappler she's prepared to do a kickboxing match with the best kickboxers her life has prepared her yeah. for these moments. All the training, all the sessions, all the private sessions has made her ready to compete for a title right away. Yeah, I would agree. And, and at least the early returns are that she looks comfortable and confident in every discipline and every martial arts situation. Well, she's one of the more exciting fighters in this or any division and really came into the UFC with some legitimate striking credentials, and she's put those to good use in the big show. And that's why everybody was so excited about her UFC debut. They understood that they were about to witness something truly special. A striker, a fighter with an ability to finish fights with her legs, with her hands, with her elbows, with her knees. There was nothing, no tool at her disposal that she would not use. She was going to use everything gifted to her, and she has done that, and that's why her performances have been so great in the UFC. Yeah, she does not discriminate. She is a true tried and tested eight-point striker, so try to put on a striking clinic here tonight. All right, just about ready for live action. Here is tonight's tale of the tape. Four years apart with similar height and reach. We send it inside Ladies the octagon, the veteran voice. This is, is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Bantamweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of nine wins, three losses. She stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Aspen Lai! And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a kickboxer, making her professional debut here tonight. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 131 pounds. Fighting out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up and we are underway. Ready. Ready to fight. Well, DC's been all over this great nation for the late. Oh! Kick, you would not be able to be very active on your feet. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. She moves right into half guard. Without much effort, she was able to pass from her full guard right into half guard. Strong lot of work here, staying busy. All right, she's got the full mount here, DC. It's hard for me to remember a time in which you were fully mounted in the UFC. I have never been full mounted. I hope to never be full mounted. And this young lady now finds herself in this position. In this position, what's very key is that she cannot panic. All right, she's going for the arm bar here. Oh, we're getting a 
finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. job by her there to execute the submission. Clearly she had an opening and she closed the show pretty effectively there. That is one of the bigger wins of her UFC career. So that win by submission figures to silence any remaining doubters, and that certainly puts the rest of the division on notice. Huge result for her here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines called the stop to this contest at two minutes, 39 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an armbar, Aspen!